Hey everybody, it's Larry, and I wanted to make a video on the issue with through lines and uh, the, the actual problem with it, demonstrate it to you, and the fix, or not a fix, the fix is going to be required by Ancestry, but the workaround for it. And uh, I'll have that here in a second. But before I get into that, I wanted to say thank you for everybody. You know, a week ago I put up the first video, and honestly, I was just hoping somebody would even find it <laughs> and just like watch it and make it, you know, worth the the time to put it up. Uh, the idea of a subscriber really and truly never hit my mind. I, I was really worried, will anybody even see it? And uh, to be honest with you, the first day it was uh, I saw it and it got. Uh, like a hundred views, a hundred and a half, and uh, I was all excited. I was counting the number of views. Woohoo! I got a hundred views. Woo! I'm up to two hundred views. I was so excited. Day three, we were at, you know, like four hundred views, and that was a big deal. Four hundred views. And <laughs> since then, I put out a couple more videos, and this has just kind of exploded way faster than I ever thought it would. Hundred subscribers is kind of a big deal in YouTube world. It you know, it unlocks certain features. You know, as you get to a thousand subscribers, it actually unlocks even more. And you know, I never even thought about subscribers. I was just hoping for views. So, you know, from the first couple of days where I was looking and, and counting, you know, a hundred and a half, three, four hundred views. Uh, next thing I know, it's got over 6,000 views on the channel and 100 subscribers. And actually, just in the last uh, day, day and a half, we got 100 subscribers yesterday, and uh, we're at 150 right now. So uh, I just wanted to say thank you. Uh, thank you to you all. I tell you, I am humbled uh, how much I appreciate. And, uh, you know, you're all you know dear to me, and I'm going to do the best I can to keep giving you good videos. So... Here we go. Back to the through lines fix, which is really why you're probably on this video, but I couldn't go without saying thank you. All right, so you've seen some of the other videos, I'm sure, and you know, dealing with the through lines. And I, I know you have if you're getting to this one. But the issue with through lines is that it's not using your tree's information, okay, to make the next connection. It's using it for what node it's on, <laughs> but then beyond that, it uses its intelligence and then it doesn't matter what your tree has at the next node it keeps using its own intelligence so once it goes off the beaten path it's off the beaten path so if you look at my other videos you'll see that my mother you know in both videos i demonstrated the tree showed robert perryman and treva collins as her parents but in her through lines and the other one it showed that her mother was alpha harbaugh and her father was tom seiler well as you can see here it now correctly brings in Robert Perryman, okay? And I'll tell you what I did on that one in a sec, but it still brings in Alpha Harbaugh. <clears throat> and now, also notice particularly how, even though it's got Robert Perryman as her father, look at the grandfather, James Burnett. Well, there's no James Burnett in my tree. His fa Robert Perryman's father was Robert Perryman. I, I don't need a hint. I've got it written in my tree. Now, what I did was I took this tree and uh, I have Family Tree Maker and I exported a new GEDCOM out of Family Tree Maker that only had preferred parents. In other words, I didn't want any family members, you know, no cousins, no, just the preferred parents and the ancestors. And so I did that and created a new tree called Test Through Line Fix. So when I did that, I uh, waited, you know, this period of time since I did it, and through lines finally updated, and the result was, you know, I had my real dad and my mother in there, Clarence Brown, Dolly McFarlane, I'm getting things, you know, I had before, Robert Perryman, great, Alpha Harbaugh still is a potential ancestor. Now, Alpha Harbaugh is not even in this tree. Uh, remember, I uploaded just the direct ancestors, so if I type in uh, the Harbaugh, there is no Harbaugh in this tree. Okay, they're, they're they're not even in the file. It's only the direct line ancestors, and and these direct lines, every one of them was set to preferred. So it's not a question in my tree if I've got them set to preferred or not, because in order to be in this export, it was only the preferred. So that eliminates that completely so what happened why am i still getting this information well i'll show you why so here's alpha harbaugh 
And this is the person who adopted my mother. And see, here's Pauline Wright's tree. Not my tree. Not my tree that I've worked hard and thousands of hours on, gotten it right, found the biological families for, set all my preferences correct in my tree. This is her adoptive family, which I did have as the adoptive family in my tree. But in the test fix tree, I removed them all simply because I wanted to test it to make sure we had the right solution. And in this tree, there's my mother, there's her twin brother, and there's Alpha and LD, my grandparents, in her tree. And they're set up as preferred kinship, okay? In her tree, not mine, in her tree. So my tree, I have Linda Wright in my tree, and I've got Treva Marie Collins set up as preferred you know, mother, but it goes over and gets Alpha Harbaugh because Pauline said so. Hmm. Why is that? Well, that's a logic thing. And I've tried to get with Ancestry. Trust me, I've tried and tried. For those of you who say, well, well you need to contact Ancestry. Uh, okay, feel free on my behalf to contact them and, and point them to this video because I promise you I've called the numbers, I've talked to the support people, I've tried to get to somebody that was technical that I could even communicate this to. I can't get a hold of anybody, folks. I've tried and tried and tried. Uh, for three days I've tried. I've even got the phone calls recorded if you'd like for me to <laughs> include some snippets in the next one. Uh, it just isn't happening. And uh, so unless somebody from Ancestry stumbles across this video or one of you is connected enough to point them to this video, uh, it's going to continue to be this way. So uh, again, I'm going to look at another example of this. So that was for my grandmother. Now you can see this, you know, proofed again, Robert Perryman, it shows his father is this James Burnett, like we said. So where did that come from? Well, not my tree, because you see my tree here, I, Robert Cowan, I know for a fact, and I've got a link to Robert, you know, Walter Perryman, his father. But through lines that stitch me with James Robert Burnett because of serendipity's tree. So let's look at their tree. Well, in their tree, Robert Perryman was not even adopted because he still got, you know, Perryman, not Burnett. And, you know, Sissy and uh, Burnett had a you know, daughter. That's actually Marguerite, if I was going to be, you know, correcting the tree. But that's Marguerite Burnett. But Marguerite and Robert have the preferred parents of Sissy and or Robert. I don't have that in my tree. It's in Serendipity's tree. So because they put this information in their tree, it's overriding my through lines. And it shouldn't be doing that. So what can we do about it? Well, there is something you can do about it, and it's a pain in the tail that we have to do it, that Ancestry doesn't step up and, and acknowledge and fix it, because the official response from Ancestry is you need to fix the preferential relationships and the kinships in your tree. Uh, here's a, a note to Ancestry. That will not work in all situations, or I'm going to guess in many of the situations, or most, because of what I'm showing right here. It's going to say, oh, this person matches somebody else in somebody else's tree. It's a 100% match. They've got this preferential person that's different than your preferential person. And I'm not going to use yours. I'm going to use theirs because, well, I'm giving you hints. And that's exciting because you're getting hints. So let's make you excited and give you stuff you know to be wrong. No. Okay. That's wrong. Uh, that... I'm a little bit frustrated that the solution comes out that, you know, we always need to fix our stuff and we've made a mistake. This isn't our mistake. I mean, this is a mistake in the logic flow of through lines. Now, that being said, don't get me wrong. I am not bashing through lines. I love through lines. I think this is going to be the single greatest genealogical tool available to us in our toolbox. It does need to be fixed, okay? <laughs> Just because, you know, the guy turns on the saw and, and the blade goes off to the side doesn't make me hate saws because I can see, man, this thing spins. It, it's going to cut wood really good. It's going to improve efficiency over a handsaw. I love this, okay? And that's kind of where we are with through lines. This is going to be awesome, you know? Forgive me, but it's going to be freaking awesome. This, this thing is really, really good, it does have some logic problems, and the biggest logic problem is that it's dependent upon the 
authenticity of somebody else's tree. Now, I get it. When somebody's a distant relationship, you know, a caveat emptor, you know, buyer beware on that tree. When I've taken the time and effort and the money to research something and find it out, and I mark it in my tree as so, and I say, this is the parent. I want you to mark this parent. I want to research this parent, these grandparents, these great-grandparents that are in my tree. Research those. Okay? That's what I'm wanting to find. Now, is there a workaround? Yes, it's hokey. It will work. So if you want to do it and, and get through lines to working for your stuff, it will work. Um, here's how you do it. So uh, here's my main tree, you know, the 2019 family tree. And I can go to, you know, manage tree. And uh, I can download the tree, export tree. Click export tree and I can download it. Okay. Then <laughs> you go back to trees, create and manage trees. And you upload it, upload a GEDCOM file. And so you save that file on your you know, desktop, hopefully, and you browse for it right here, and you get it, and you upload it, okay? Once you do that, that's not enough, okay? What you're going to have to do here is remember, my, it's Linda Margaret Wright, you know, born in 1943. I went in here, and I changed it. It's Linda Perryman and no birth year. Why? Because now Linda Perryman is not over in Pauline Wright's tree. There is not a Linda Perryman there for ancestry to say, ooh, I got a DNA related match here, so I'm going to give you this information, which is really ancestry, by the way, kind of frustrating because the old Halfa Harbaugh, that whole right, they're not DNA related. So why would you overwrite my stuff if you're not going to give me a DNA kinship with it? You know, there's a hint for the loop. Anyway, so in order to do this, you have to change the names. Now, what I would do on the name when you upload your tree, okay, see mine says test through line fix. Uh, on yours, I would call it hokey workaround, hokey through line workaround, so that you know that this is a hokey tree and other people who see it knows it's, you know, a hokey tree. It's a workaround tree. It's not real deal. So, you know, her name's not Linda Perryman now. Technically, I guess biologically, it is a Linda Perryman, so it's not technically an error, but that's the only way you're going to get through lines to give you hints until Ancestry decides that if I've marked something in my tree as the correct kinship, that it uses my kinship and not the kinship of somebody else's tree, that's actually incorrect. Because as you saw with the Burnett, Robert Perryman was not the biological son of a Burnett. Sorry, went blank there for a second. <laughs> Somebody tried to call in. I was looking at the phone. My apologies. So, you know, they're, they're bringing in these other trees, and we all know these other trees have bad information. So if the bad information is going to trump the information in my tree, uh, that's a fail. Okay? Now, hopefully they'll fix that. It's my hope that this video or you know through my other attempts to get through them somehow we'll be able to reach them but i'm going to say point blank it does not matter how correct your tree is it because you have the same names and it matches people's names and other trees that are not correct it will bring in their information and it will supersede and priority your information even if it does not have any dna relations on that end and that's wrong. So the workaround is download your tree, upload it, name it Hokey Workaround Tree, change the names, erase the information with that person in the Hokey Workaround Tree, wait your 48 hours, and then when through lines propagates, it will go up to the next person in your tree because it has no other place to go except use your tree. And then you can start looking at the DNA kinships for those other people. And it does work. You know, you saw it. I've tested it. You've seen it in the action because you saw the other videos. You saw the Tom Seiler. You now see that it's you know, not bringing in Tom Seiler. It's bringing in Robert Perryman. And in two days, I can show you how it brought in Treva Marie Collins. And I'm just going to have to, in that hokey workaround tree, uh, do that. Now, when you name the people, 
you know, you know, name them, you know, something unusual. Please don't everybody call a hokey workaround mom or hokey workaround granddad because then all of our, all of us would be pulling in each other's tree with this preferred uh, new hokey mom. So, you know, use their names with their biological names as the workaround name and uh, you'll start getting uh, through line hints. Anyway, thank you all for subscribing. Hopefully the videos are, are helpful to you. And if somebody knows somebody at Ancestry, point them to the video because the, the, the problem's here, the fix is here, and uh, they're free to contact me. My email address is actually in one of the comments. They can find it in there uh, or on the About page. Uh, get with me, and uh, I know more information about this you know, from a technical detail that we won't cover in here. But I, I want to see Ancestry fix it. This is an awesome tool, and I can't wait until I can use it against my real tree and not a hokey workaround tree. And that'll be a great day for me and for all of us. Uh, again, if you like the video, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. Tell me why. And uh, you know, don't, don't blame me. I, I didn't make through lines not work like this, and I'm not bashing it. At this, I'm just saying it like it is. It's got a flaw. And here's a workaround. And uh, again, this is not to be negative to Ancestry or this tool because I, I really honestly love this tool and cannot wait for it to work right. And uh, finally, uh, click subscribe. Click the notification bell next to it, and you'll get an email anytime a new video or an update comes up like this, a workaround on problems that we all have. So until then, I want everybody to have a great day and a great weekend. Bye-bye.